Happy birthday to one of our favourite soap stars, and she's also someone who shows no sign of slowing down. Yes, now we sent our favourite artist, Ada Banjie, to find a suitably dotty way of honouring the laundrette queen who has become a cultural icon. <sighs> TV soap history has had its fair share of feisty female characters over the years. But there's only one queen of the laundrette. Doc Cotton, or Granin as she is now known, is EastEnders laundrette running, chain smoking, gossiping Gran, who has been telling it like it is to the residents of Albert Square for over three decades. Now, do I get this glass of water, or do you want my headache to turn into a migraine? And now, June Brown, the real-life actress behind one of the nation's most loved characters, is about to celebrate a very significant birthday, her 90th. So how does the one show pay tribute to Britain's favourite dot? By teaming up with Britain's favourite dot artist, of course. Nikki Dalfwake knows a thing or two about dots. Well, she should do really, since for the past nine years she has stuck over six million of them onto her artworks. Specializing in huge portraits, made using thousands of tiny paper dots, these vast pieces sell for up to £20,000. This picture of Formula One driver Sebastian Vettel took 450 hours, that's around nine weeks to complete. It's completely taken over my life up until recently when I had twin babies I was probably sticking dots somewhere between 10 and 13 hours a day six wow. days a week as an artist myself I'm drawn to the extraordinary detail I see it as an abstract explosion of dots but when I go back that's when it comes into focus I get definition I think it's amazing say for something like this yeah one to one and a half weeks of maybe 10 hours a day punching the dots. Just punching the dots. Once Nikki has gathered enough paper dots to form her image, she then begins the laborious task of positioning each dot on the sticky taped canvas. It can't be easy. This seems incredibly repetitive. How did you cope? Well, to be honest, I'm actually addicted to doing it. I have OCD, so I actually find it good to channel it into this instead of everyday life. However, I did end up with a shoulder surgery and having to have my shoulder pinned because I do have a tendency to lean this way. Wow. So I ended up having to have six pins in my shoulder. So this is a this is a labour of love. It's a labour of love. For you. But an addiction as well. An addiction as well. Nikki's creations follow a long line of artists who work in pointillism, a technique that uses small dots or dashes of colour to create an image. On the surface, this 1886 painting by George Shura looks like an ordinary scene in an ordinary park. But look closer and you'll see that it is in fact made up of thousands of tiny brush strokes. What I like about this technique is that your eyes become the artist's paint palette. And it's up to you to blend the colours together to find the image. Nikki's unusual twist on this 130-year-old artistic movement has given it a new lease of life and allowed her to create a rather unique portrait of a rather unique lady. I've been working on a portrait here for a few weeks now and it's nearly finished. Would you like to give me a hand? I will. <laughs> Why not? Right in the middle there. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. There's two dots there. Then. There's two One dots. on the top of the other. This is really fiddly. How do you manage to do this without having to step back? Well, I'm actually really short-sighted, so it actually helps because all I have to do is kind of look over my glasses and the colours blend together a little. Oh, wow. So I could never have my eyes fixed because it would hinder my artwork. I think we are just about done here. There we have it. And what better way to celebrate one of the country's most beloved actresses from Dot to dot.